the most beautiful thing that I came across when I was when I was um, doing my research for this evening I want to share with you is another bit of Richard Carlson. I make no apology for sharing loads of Richard Carlson with you because he has such a wonderful way of putting things. And and it points to something you know we we we're, we're stripping away the layers here. We're stripping away the layers and and for me this points to something much deeper that is very freeing and it and it really it was very unexpected for me when I was reading this this is the, this is the this is the one that really landed for me that was like oh wow yeah so I, I've got to share it with you it's called admit to your common ground by the way it's from the book um, what about the big stuff finding strength and moving forward when the stakes are high because obviously he wrote the book all the series of don't sweat the small stuff so he's gone what about the big stuff Admit to your common ground. How much of life is filled with conflict with other people? I mean, how much of life is filled with conflict with other people? I mean, it's a fair bit of it, isn't it? <laughs> it's a fair bit of it. It really is. So it's important stuff. It's big stuff. Come on, boffins, let's get this sorted. This is especially true with people we love or used to love. How many times have you heard someone in the midst of a crushed relationship or during a bitter divorce mutter the words, we have nothing in common? We also insist this applies to our teenagers during hard times, as well as to virtually everyone with whom we engage in serious conflict. And then he's asking us to reflect on it slightly differently. When you are angry, arguing, frustrated or needing to prove yourself right, there is such pain in your heart. The drama and feelings of tension are intense. There is withholding, a sense of stubbornness. There is confusion in the mind and an urgency in the heart. There is an absence of peace. There is a sense of emergency. Has there ever been an exception? Not in my experience. I've never known anyone say to me, well, when I was bitter towards someone else or extremely angry, I was experiencing great harmony and peace. Or, boy, I remember how good it felt to hate that person. What I've learned is that if I'm arguing with or feeling resentment or bitterness toward another person and they toward me, then ironically, I have everything in common with that person and vice versa. Despite what either one of us would care to believe, we share the same closed heart, the same confusion and fear and a very similar lack of peace. I haven't finished, but let's pause. Because it really looks like when we're in conflict with somebody that we have nothing in common. And Sid Banks always used to say, look for simplicity. The, the answers don't lie in complexity. The answers lie in simplicity. And when we boil it right down, when we strip away all the detail, what's actually going on when we're in conflict with somebody is that we've lost sight of this and we're absolutely stuck in here. And so that's what we have in common with somebody. 
when we're when we're in conflict, it's essentially it's a signal that it's two thought systems that are bashing up against each other. And thought systems are very they're very personal things. It's only got your stuff in there. It's got all your experiences, all your beliefs, all your values, all the stuff you were told as a kid, all the experiences you went through, everything, everything that happened five minutes ago, everything that happened five seconds ago. It always oh, hoovering it up. It's hoovering it up. It's yours. It's yours. It's part of you. It's not who you are, but it's part of you. It's your humanity, if you like. So when we're in conflict with somebody, we absolutely have everything in common because we're in there and they're in theirs. And that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. And it's something I see more and more deeply as time goes by. Um, I was just kind of reflecting on that because that, that really... <laughs> Like when I when I read that, like my jaw dropped. I was like, "Oh my, he's gone there. He's gone there." When we're feeling resentment or bitterness towards another person and them towards us, ironically, I have everything in common with that person and vice versa. And I was like, "Yes, of course." And I thought to some of my more recent writing, the piece that I wrote about fitting in from a from a, a couple of months ago. That whole notion of, of, of not fitting in, that unites us. That unites us. Insecurity unites us. That's what we have in common. And then a bit longer ago, I wrote, I wrote another piece that was all about, um, all about racism. And that one was called, Love is what we have in common. And when you really strip away all the complexity, <laughs> this is what you end up with. And when two people are going thought system to thought system, they have everything in common and that leads to conflict. And all it takes is for one of us really to drop out of that. And to listen from the heart and the entire dynamic changes. <laughs>